greatest integer function okay now it is greatest integer function guys see basically any rational number like for example uh, let's say 2.5 okay this can be represented in the form of integer plus fraction okay where f is the f is a fraction which value is always less than equal to 0 ha huh? to sorry greater than equal to 0 to 1 basically you can write like this that f is always less than 1 and greater than equal to 0 okay and so f is a number which is always between 0 to 1 right and i is that integer value okay so greatest integer function of any number any uh, x right if, if we have this uh, 2.5 as x actually so its greatest integer function will always be like its greatest integer function will always be like i okay i this is the meaning of greatest integer function for example if we have 3.9 i can write as as i plus f what is i here i is 3 and what is f here f is 0 0.9 okay so 3 plus 0 0.9 i can write like this okay so that means greatest integer function of 3.9 it should be equal to what i i means what i means 3 here correct if you go for the neg some negative values right for example you can take here any negative value it's a minus 4.6 okay i want its greatest integer function so let me like if i want the greatest integer function of minus 4.6 let me write like i plus f okay now i told you f is always positive right what is f always between 0 to 1 okay that means you can't take i as minus 4. People do that, do this mistake, right? They take i as minus 4 and then this f will becomes minus 0 0.6, which is wrong. This is wrong, right? You can't write f as negative. So for making f positive, you just need to concentrate on the lesser negative number than minus 4.6, that is minus 5. Okay, and lesser negative integer. So I can write this as minus 5 plus 0.4. Okay, this is my i, this is my f now. f is positive. So its greatest integer function is always i. What is i here? i is minus 5. Okay, so what I can say here is the greatest integer function is always the next integer which is just less than or equal to x. Okay, so like for minus 4.6, the next integral value just less than minus 4.6 is minus 5. For 3.9, it is 3, just less than, right? Minus 5 is just less than minus 4. 3 is just less than 3.9, like that. Okay. So let's look at a couple of questions here, right? Okay, so let me take an example here. Let me take a question, guys. Okay, the question says that uh, this is like root 1, its integral part, plus root 2, integral part, root 3, integral part, till root 50. What's the value? And it will be written that this bracket denotes greatest integer function that is gif right not our whatsapp gif okay this is the greatest integer function here fine okay so now if i try to solve this so what will do here what will do here root 1 root 2 root 3 till root 50 fine so basically what is the value of right so tell me uh till root 1 so root 1 value will be 1 only fine root 2 will be what what is root 2 root 2 is 1 point something 1.414 to be exact right but I'm just fine with one point something. One point something means it's value will be one only. It, it's integer value, right? It get, uh, get it integer function value. Root three is again one point something. 1.73 to be exact, but I'm not uh, concerned with that, right? What is root three? 1.7, that means one point something means one only. So one will come three times, right? Okay, fine. Then obviously after that, the root four will start. So basically one, this one is for, basically this one is for uh, root uh, uh, 3 is for root 2 and this is for root 1. Okay, after that, what will you start this? I'll start with root 4. What is root 4? Root 4 is 2. Okay, root 5 is 2 point something, again 2. Correct? And this will go till root 9, root 8. Because root 8 is 2 point something, from root 9, 3 will come. So root 8, it will, it will 2, right? That means root 4 to root 8. Root 4 to root 8. This 2 will occur how many times? 2 will occur 5 times. 2 will occur 5 times. Got the pattern, right? 2 will occur 5 times here. Correct? Then, start from root 9, guys. Start from root 9. Then, root 9 to root 16, can I say? Sorry, root 15. Root 16 will be 4, right? So, root 9 to root 16, the value will be 4 actually? Yes. 
so root 9 to root 16 the value will be 4 correct that means it is 3 huh so root 9 I mean, so it only root 15 right so you should write root 15 here because root 15 is 3 point something root 16 becomes 4 so root 9 to root 15 this 3 is starting to from 3 and it goes like root 15 is again 3 right how many times 3 will occur here 9 to 15 7 times 3 will appear 7 times actually and now we got the pattern right now we got the pattern 3 will appear 7 times after that 4 will appear 9 times this is our odd number right 3 times 5 times 7 times 4 will appear 9 times then 5 will appear 11 times okay then 6 will appear 13 times so just make that part right we have to stop at root 50 actually so 6 will appear 13 times that will root 36 to root 48 okay so 6 will appear 13 times that is root 36 to root 48 but now I am left with only two values right this 6 is for root 48 okay so now I am left with only two values here uh, all right that is uh, uh, root 49 and root 50 that's it right so I think the both the values are 7 right so we have got both the values 7 actually 7 plus 7 okay you just add it up right quite simple to add no 3 plus uh, this is 3 uh, this is 3 3 plus 2 2 5 times is 10 okay 3 7 times is 21 4 9 times is 36 5 11 times is 55 6 13 times is 78 and 7 2 times is 14 right 3 plus 10 13 34 70 125 203 and 217 so 217 is the answer of this question okay and also also this combat guys okay so this uh, combat uh, you know it's a very good test series it contains some good high quality questions okay so their easy questions are, are not asked here so it basically it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts okay and uh, uh, this from this sunday onwards it is in basically revised format so basically we are mo moving closer to cat right now so in january february and march we were like away uh, we are around eight to ten months away from cat so the questions we put off maybe some uh, easier or medium level right but this from now onwards the questions will be of higher higher level okay and uh, all the lrda sets also um, this quant questions also and basically it's a fun it's fun right actually giving this is a fun because after every question you get to get, get to get your live ranking okay then uh, after every question the faster you answer the better your the better your rank is right you get more points so actually those one hour test is a fun and actually if you look at the cat you should give uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and tests before cat okay and this is one of your high quality tests absolutely free of cost and uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this i think okay so rank one to three one year subscription i think around twenty thousand or 75% scholarship or 50% or so, so great prizes are on offer here okay so get it live from your mobile app you just put in a uh, link here I'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here Ravi Roda it ask you for invite code it is absolutely absolutely free of cost okay ask you for invite code put Ravi Roda and the link I'll put in description just enroll from there okay and do give this every Sunday do give this at 12 p.m. it's on every Sunday okay so every Sunday Give this on 12 p.m. Thank you.